Right now, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. The anti-gun liberals like Nancy Pelosi and Dianne Feinstein don't care about bump stocks. This is a Trojan horse to destroy your Second Amendment rights. They only care about destroying the Second Amendment. Just look at this message uh, from the bastion of liberal extremism, the New York Times. It just ran an op-ed piece calling for the repeal of the Second Amendment. So you still think this is about bump stocks? Wake up. Democrats like Feinstein and Schumer will use bump stocks to bring Washington to a halt. They will offer all kinds of anti-gun amendments to bump stock bills, universal background checks, waiting periods, purchase limits, you name it. You see, Chuck Schumer is the ringleader of the Dianne Feinstein anti-gun circus. They stoop so low to push an anti-gun agenda that they hijack a national tragedy and politicize it for their own gain. I hope senators will finally summon the political courage to stand up and say enough is enough. We can't sit by this deadliest mass shooting. It is really time for action. We cannot do nothing. But now the NRA refuses to let the Feinstein circus flourish. We cannot. Congress needs to do its job and pass issues that really matter to gun owners like national concealed carry reciprocity. This Republican congressman, Congress needs to do the job Republicans elected them to do. And the ATF needs to fix the problem it created. By the way, the ATF reviewed bump stocks under the Obama administration and failed to act then. It needs to act now. Remember, the NRA didn't deem bump stocks legal. The ATF did. So now the ATF needs to do what's right.